This is such a long road, but I want to start on the far side of Mitri Lake. They do have camping spots right along this road. If you just keep on following it. This is the canal that feeds into Mitri Lake. And this is the road that I was talking about. And like I said, there are camp spots right along this road. I will say there's not a lot of traffic that's going up and down this road, but when they do, they do kind of go fast. But if you don't mind that, there are spots to camp right along the road where you get this nice view of the mountains and also Mitri. But if you look here, there is, I guess you can consider it marshland, but the water doesn't come this far and people do camp all along here, all the way down. You can see Mitri Lake right past this. The Proving Grounds is right over there and the Army Base is right there. And where we normally camp, Senator's Imperial Dam area is back that way. And you can actually get to that area from here. It's this long road. And as you can see, there's someone camping right there. And we're gonna take you back up towards the front area where the main camping is. Oh, Ken Log, what's going on? <laughs> so we are taking a drive down this road and heading back towards the front. I think the access road is coming up right here. Yeah, there it is, where the marker is. Seems kind of tight. I wanted to show you the access road here. It's where this marker is with the two yellow dots. This is how you get down there and you can camp down below. Seems like there's several people camping down there. Seems like a nice quiet spot. I've actually never camped this far back. I usually camp to the front of Mitri. We're driving down here to get a closer look at the camping spots. Seems like there's a lot of vegetation back here so you can find a little private nook of your own. More people camping back here. I think this actually might be the extent of down here. Yep. Some tent campers, van camper. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure if you can turn around here. Is that, does the road go on? Okay. And more people camping back here. The road gets pretty tight back here. So, but I see a tra travel trailer right there. Actually, another travel trailer there. But the vegetation definitely is much tighter through here. So you'll want to be careful. But it just swings back around. It's not a huge camping area. Kind of like that spot by the tree there. They do have more people camping back here, but I think that's it. So we're going to swing around. All right, this is the exit road up here. Where is it? Oh, here it is. The one thing I will say though, Mitri isn't as close to Yuma as some campsites. What is this? About 20 miles from town? Probably between 10 and 15. Oh, 10 and 15. slow going. It is, because this road coming in is obviously a dirt road. Okay, we're clear. All right, let's continue on more camping on the side of the road. Another shot of the channel that goes into Mitri Lake. Kind of gets wide right here. That's pretty. And we have more camping up here on this ridge. 
as you can see, the lake is on the other side there. More roadside camping. All right, now we're coming into the main part of Mitri. And we're much closer to the lake. It's very beautiful. This is the Mitri Lake Wildlife Area. These are the fish that they have stocked in the lake. So there's a uh, black crappy. <laughs> that sounds weird. And then there's the channel catfish, flathead catfish, and bluegill. This is the day use area, which has a floating dock that you can walk on. And also there's a boat launch here. Very peaceful. Right next to the parking for the boat launch is a pavilion there with about eight picnic tables and also grills. Right across the road, I'll show you that in a minute there. That was camping, but I saw signs. So we're gonna go read those. And then up, up on this ramp here, there was camping back there too. So let's go check that out. There's camping down there, as you can see the rigs. This is not camping, it's just additional parking. And then it also has the bathrooms up here, or restrooms. So we're gonna go down and check out the camping over there. It says Mitri Lake Wildlife Area, no overnight camping, which is weird because this is supposed to be the camping area and obviously people are camping here. This used to be like the main area for camping. Let me see if, I, if the other sign says different. No, it says the same thing. Mitri Lake, wildlife area, no overnight camping. That's odd. Maybe they mean in this area here. Uh, maybe they mean this area, but that's obviously. Huh. So I guess that is the camping area, but as you can see, they have it segmented off. So you have a specific spot where you camp. Right across the road, they do have dumpsters. So the last time we were here at Mitri, it was for Christmas, I think two, three years ago. We camped in this spot and there were no signs, but now they do have signs saying no overnight camping. Huh. Those signs are very confusing. We were just discussing it because they're posted in, in areas that you think there are camping. And obviously people are camping here. And I know the rangers come through and no one's being moved, so. It's just the way the signs are posted and where they're placed can be very confusing. I mean, those obviously do look like camp spots because they're, but they, they have the signs posted. Maybe it was just for the parking lot, but still confusing. Oh, look at a scamp. So here are some more spots and still no overnight camping posted here. So I guess that's just for day use. There's more camping here. And we finally found the sign that says designated camping area for Mitri Lake. So you enter here. And I guess on that side, it is for the parking lot. You can't park in that parking lot. You actually have to have a designated camp spot. All right, not so confusing now. In my opinion, these are the prettiest spots at Mitri, and they used to allow camping here. You get your own little island that would go out, but now it's just day use and for fishing. See, you can just walk out. It's pretty cool. It's a shame they don't allow you to camp in these spots anymore. Although it does look like they get some flooding in these spots. Maybe that's why they don't allow people to camp here. What is it, Mumu? What is it? Huh? <laughs> it's 
a little mucky. Did you find something, Moo Moo? Wow, look at this old palm. Looks like it's been here for a while. And the view is awesome. Look, they even have a meditating rock where you can just sit and relax and the dog can take a drink of water. It's really peaceful out here. There are two more spots like we just left here with jetties on them. And it seems like they allow camping here because I don't see any signs posted and people are camping. That's cool. Those are the best spots. I'm sure it's hard to get one of those though. Oh, it seems like someone took the sign off. And there is one more sign there towards the end. There's a road right here and it leads up to an upper level where people camp all the time. So we're gonna go check that out. I've seen this plenty of times when I come to Mitri, but I've never actually camped up here. I don't know if I'd wanna bring my RV back here, but you know, there are travel trailers up here, so it's obvious, obviously possible. This looks a bit squirrely right here. The road is kind of washed out. I guess if you just take it easy. Whoa, whoa. Oh wow, there's a lot of camping up here. Oh, there's another lake over on this side. Seems like there is another access road here. This one definitely looks much easier than the one we came up. And then there's a ridge over here where more people are camping at. The sun's at a bad angle, so we're gonna flip around so you can see better. There is another lake. It's hard to see, you can't see anything on this side. And a lot more campers right here. Oh, actually it's not a lake, it's that, um, it's that canal or the channel that feeds into Mitri. The nice thing about this spot here is it's on this ridge. You get a nice view of Mitri Lake. That's where we were, over there. And then we're gonna go out this way. This is the exit for one of the exits. You could go the total opposite way and go all the way to the Imperial Dam area. But as you can see, there are people camped along the road that goes out. I'm not sure if that's actually legal, but I didn't see any signs when we were coming in. So yeah, this is just the channel that runs along the road. Really beautiful. Kind of widens here and splits. There's an island out there. Definitely seem to be crammed in here. All right, we're gonna continue on. Hey, Kellogg. All right, we're gonna see what's on the other side over here. I think it's not that big. Actually, we can see everything from here. It's just more campers. Seems to go over that way a bit. I see a few campers over there. There's the road there. And then there's another road that leads that way. I guess we can go check that out. Do you want to go back there? It seems tighter back here, so you'd probably have to have a smaller rig. So. Oh, what's that over there? Oh, there's tunnels where the water goes under. That's pretty cool. Under the mountain. Yeah, you definitely have to have a smaller setup for back here. It's pretty tight. Okay, we can flip around. I've camped at Mitri Lake several times, but never knew this was back here. It's pretty neat to check it out. All right, we're headed back out and we're gonna 
go through the exit and then probably check out another place. Yeah, there's that other spot. And they do have a travel trailer back there. We're gonna take the other way out. Yeah, this definitely seems better. It's not washed out like the other one and it's much wider. All right, we are headed out and gonna go check out another lake. There's two more lakes that we're checking out, but it was nice here at Mitri. And as you saw, we just passed a rig. There's more camping along the roadside. I don't know if you can see that, but look at the people up there. There's two. And I've taken the bike up there before. That's hard to get up. Look at that. You got to go up that hill. There's two campers up there, but they are, um, they seem to be smaller. There's a travel trailer, smaller one. And yeah, but I don't know if I would take my rig all the way up there. <laughs> I've ridden my bike up there. It's just, it's not easy to get up, especially down. There's another camping spot. Seems like there's just a car in there. When we came in earlier, there was a travel trailer. Seems like they left. So this hillside over here that I was just showing, we see more campers. So more people are camping up there. But it is really hard to get up there. I guess if you have four-wheel drive, then you'll, you'll be good. But I wouldn't want to take my rig up there. I believe we're coming up to the spillway. Yep, this is a spillway. I don't think they're supposed to be camping there, but they are. Well, I don't see any signs saying no camping. Huh. Yeah, there's no signs posted, so I guess they do allow it there. It's very pretty right here. A lot of vegetation, wildlife. All right, and we are coming to the end of Mitri Lake. This is the exit here. Looks like there used to be, uh, what do they call those things? The quarry, a rock quarry here. We just turned off Laguna Dam Road and we're headed to Yuma Lakes, CRA. It's one and a half miles down 6th Street, which is this one. We've made it to Redondo Lake. It's definitely not as grand or big as Mitri. The free camping is on the other side over there where the porta potties are. And on this side of the lake is an RV park. That's very nice, actually. So if you don't mind paying, you can always stay at the RV park. If not, you'll have to camp across the lake. We're gonna go check that out now. All right, we're in the car and we're headed over there now. The RV park is called Yuma Lakes RV Park. Oh wow, look at those trailers over there. They look a bit run down. A fifth wheel. Oh, that's private property. They do have dumpsters here and a porta potty. This is a very small site. It says fish dock parking only. And there is another sign here that says fishing access is granted, camping is prohibited. So this one is a fail. Yep, there's the fishing dock there. It's pretty, not very big. Okay, well, I guess that makes it only two lakes in Yuma that you can camp at. Actually, it's very fooling. The road does go back further. It looks like you could definitely camp back in those areas back there, but there are signs posted everywhere. It's the same sign where it says no overnighting or camping. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and continue on to Fortuna Pond, which I know there is camping there. No camping, Kellogg, no camping, dang it. <laughs> That's okay, at least we now know. Don't forget if you're interested in camping at Mitri Lake or Fortuna Pond, they're both on Google Maps. All you have to do is just Google them and it'll give you directions on how to get to either one.
We're now on the dirt road. It's about three miles that leads to Fortuna Pond off of the same road that Mitri's on. So if you turn down this one, instead of going all the way back to Mitri, that's how you get here. No fireworks. Yep, this is it. There's another, if you just keep on going, there's another access road that accesses the other side of Fortuna. Look at it, they have free plugins. <laughs> no, just joking. So this road actually goes around to the other side, I believe, but you can, you can turn down here. All right, so we're gonna go around this way. Yeah. Oh, there's somebody's dog just wandering free. Actually, we're gonna get turned around because I'll be on the wrong side for recording. So it seems busy, like always. So you just park along the lake. It's actually a community fishing water hole, Fortuna Lake. It's not a super big lake. They put rocks here, so there's no vehicle camping here. Then it opens up and you can park along here. Yeah, it doesn't seem like there's any available spots, which is why we stopped camping here is because there are, I mean, it's hard to get a spot down here anymore. It's like everybody knows about it and it's usually always busy. It's pretty tight down here. As you can see, look at, there's a whole row of RVs. Although I will say it, it is nice and very beautiful to camp here. A lot of wildlife, ducks and stuff like that. But it's like an RV park. You just kind of line up in a row. I think when we get to the other side, it opens up a little bit more and groups can camp there because that's where we ended up camping. There's a few spots. You just can't go past the rocks. It gets kind of sandy through here. So there's the other side of the lake. There's a little island that comes out or jetty. They do have a dumpster, it's right up here, which is nice if you need to get rid of trash. Oh, look at that motorhome. It kinda lowers down into half the size. That's pretty cool. There is a porta potty on the other side. You can't see it because this motorhome's blocking it. And there's usually no camping here. It's kind of small, but I see there is a tent camper. You just can't have motor vehicles past the rocks, but I guess you can tent camp. So if you wanted to bring a tent here, there's the fishing jetty that people like to fish at. Bureau of Land Management. Okay, we can stop here. This is usually where we camp because it's a much bigger spot and there's more spots over in the trees. Like I said, this is a community fishing water hole and they have catfish, trout, sunfish, and large mouth bass. Beautiful, isn't it? But it is a, a small lake. We decided to park the truck there and we're gonna take a walk around instead of driving past everything. So there are some spots. This one looks kind of sandy. Looks like someone got bogged down right here. But this is where I'm talking about here. There's camping up into the trees, although you probably want to have a smaller rig. I believe I was camped right here one year, and it's also shaded, so you don't get much solar. Another shot of the lake. Nice thing about this one is you can actually camp right by the water. We're at Mitri, not really. You can still enjoy the water and the day use areas, 
but there's not much camping right by the water, only those two spots. And I'm not sure if you can really even camp there. It is a pretty sandy area, so you have to make sure not to get stuck, but I believe there's a, it's pretty compacted, so it doesn't seem like there's a lot of people camping on this side. I think there's more camping back there too. Uh, Carolyn and some of our friends camped back here. There's a road that heads back. There is more camping in the trees here. This is definitely a nice spot. Oh, there's some open spots here. Hi, how are you doing? Oh, look at puppy. Come on, puppy, you good boy. <laughs> it's like my tail's wagging. <laughs> Aww. Did you find your friend, Moo Moo? <laughs> Aww. Too cute. <laughs> oh, that's why he's after her instead. <laughs> All right, we're going to continue on. Yeah, there's a road that goes back this way. It looks like they've opened this up more. Used to not be so open. You can camp back here. And then it narrows again. No camping here, it's just the road. It's too tight. Oh, wow. Look at the blue heron. That is a heron, right? On the limb? Oh, yeah. Sure. It's beautiful. It definitely can be peaceful here. All right, we're continuing on. Um, I don't know if you can, but you pro I guess you can. I don't know why no one's camped here. Oh, this is, oops, I don't want to scare the, the heron off. Beautiful bird, it's right there on that tree. Okay, let's not scare him off. He's trying to do some fishing. So it's really hard to camp right through here because it's so narrow, mainly the other side. But if you have a smaller rig, you can fit in these areas here. It kind of goes up the hump. <laughs> it does. Yeah. I was thinking that um, that area might be a boat launch. That's why no one's camped there. So there's another road that leads back here. Do you want to walk back there? Oh, it seems kind of fenced off. Yeah, if you can get through here. Maybe if you're in a smaller rig. Seems to be the theme. I don't know why this is fenced off. Oh, no, you can camp here. It's just the fence goes around there because this is where uh, Carolyn and them were, I believe. Yeah, because it's a big spot. But no one's camped here, huh? Okay, because you can actually get from the main road here. Wow. Although you don't get to see the lake right outside your door, like you do if you park over here. More campers right there. It's a nice spot by that tree. And that big rig. Well, that thing's huge looking. It's pretty cool. Yeah, that's definitely a nice spot. It's a huge rig. That definitely looks off-road capable. <laughs> nice. 
All right, we're getting ready to get to the end here and it's gonna curve back around and start where we started. Oh, mama, look at kitty cat. Meow, meow. <laughs> All right, come on. All right, we are where we started. It's really pretty on this side over here. A lot of vegetation. It really is beautiful here. Jeff just brought up a good point. It does say no motor vehicles and people might be confused, but they mean past the rocks. That's why they place these big rocks and the signs here. They just don't want you to go past it with the motor vehicle, which is obviously kind of impossible. I mean, you can't get past the rocks. I guess if you had like a big Jeep with big tires, you can get over the rocks, but I'm not sure why more people don't camp on this side. There's spots over here. But it is looser sand over here, I believe. So there's a possibility. Oh, yeah, it's very sandy over here. A possibility of getting stuck. I guess a tent camper is taking advantage of this other side. Yeah, it's a nice spot right there. Although you are blocked. Can't see the lake. But sometimes you just got to take the spot when it comes available. Uh-oh. Oh, that's the same doggies. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Oh, look at that spot there in the trees with the campfire. I know, that's nice. <laughs> oh, there you go. There's the porta potty that was being blocked earlier. Ooh, I think it's time for them to dump that trash. It's getting kind of full there. All right, well, this is the end of the two free lake camping areas here in Yuma, Arizona. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and have a great day. On the corner of 8th, on the corner of 8th and a half East Avenue, wait, ugh, that's confusing to say. I had my 10 seconds of peace. Get me off this rock! Ha, ha, ha.